All right, everybody, welcome to my channel. Um, I got a different one for you today, and by the way, welcome to Scorching Hot Montana. Um, from those of you that are, aren't around here, uh, it's been over 100 degrees the last couple days, which is not normal for here. Um, but today, we're gonna be working inside the garage. It's a disaster. Oh well. Um, but I got something different for you. So I got the GMC outside, Corvette's there. Um, I've got my lawnmower in here. I already got the hood off, but my oil pan gasket on this stupid thing decided to puke. So up under here, it's just dumping oil out of it. So that means we get to pull the motor out of this thing today. So we'll have to disconnect the electrical. Um, I've got the fuel pump and everything already off of it because when I went to start it and bring it inside, the fuel pump took a shit and started spitting gas out all over the place. So we just got the engine electrical here, um, disconnect the battery and the starter, and then there's the drive belts and accessories down below, so we'll have to jack it up, and then there's four mounting bolts that holds the engine down, and then the exhaust, and that should be it. Supposedly what I watched on other YouTube channels, it's supposed to take about two hours to do this job, but I guess we'll see. So I'm gonna get cracking and listen to some music and as it get ready to lift it out, I'll get back to you guys. All right guys, just checking back in. It's, I don't even know what time I started on this, but now it's 10.30 and we have no motor. Um, I need to clean all that crap out of it too while I've got that motor out, but there it is. One 20 horsepower V-twin. It wasn't that hard, but uh, we'll check back in. We'll get this oil pan gasket changed. Um, I'll lay out all the parts here in just a second and show them to you so you can see everything we got. Okay, so new fuel pump, new fuel filter, new fuel lines, as you can see, these are just absolutely trashed. And then over here, we've got a new updated oil pan gasket with new bolts with Loctite on them and the crankcase seal for the shaft that comes out for the drive belt and accessories. So if we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it all at once. So I'm gonna get to tearing this oil pan off and check back in with you in a bit. All right guys, just checking back in. The motor's back in, everything's hooked up enough to where I could start it. It does start, does run. I did not see it leaking any oil anywhere, but the governor is not set right. So I've got to go do research on how to set that and then get that set again. So <clears throat> the next time you see it, it'll be completely back together and hopefully mowing the yard. Thanks for watching guys. And we'll check back in with you. Well guys, there it is, all back together, up and running. So it is complete, it's ready to go back to work. I just want to thank everybody for watching and I really appreciate what you did. By the time you see this, it's probably going to be 4th of July, so happy 4th of July. We will be out in the vet tomorrow for a um, parade. It's called Vets for Vets, is what our local Corvette club is doing. So we are taking uh, one member from each branch of the service, excluding SpaceX. <clears throat> and then uh, we'll have a POW MIA flag with a silent car. Um, my car being red, I'm taking a Coast Guard guy and we're going to try and line everybody up red, white, and blue. I'll try and film that as much as I can. I had filmed a lot, a couple car shows. I, I know it's been a while since you've seen a video from me. I'd filmed a couple car shows, but they had background music and I really don't feel like getting demonetized and copyright claimed because it's already happened once. So I just completely, uh, deleted those videos and we're not going to even upload them. So. Um, until I can figure out how to edit and do a better job of that kind of stuff, it's not going to happen. But I do appreciate you guys watching. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And hopefully we can grow this channel some more. 
So you guys have a good day and happy 4th of July.